James, a 1-1 draw with Inverness this afternoon. Just your thoughts on the match, please. Right now, we, the emotions are high after the game. We're disappointed that, that we didn't take all three points. I think the chances in both halves, cross balls in the first half, where we, we need to be a bit more clinical or just that, that wee bit more desire to go on the end of them. But look, in terms of the second half, we're the dominant team. We were very patient, which... Could have been a worry after last week because we were facing similar circumstances. We had a lot of the ball, we were creating a lot of chances, and and it wasn't quite going in. But no, we got the goal, and then then Moff would have scored. It would have been a fantastic goal. I thought he was a real live wire when he came on. He's a fantastic player. We did try to bring it to this club last summer and um, before he signed for Blackpool. So I think you, you can see his qualities, and then having Kane back as well. But no, the, the overriding feeling right now is disappointment at not going back down the road with three points. As you said, like last week, we kept probing and, and prodding away and that goal was always going to come. You must have been delighted to, to see it come when it did. And as you said, we then just built on that momentum and if we had won the game, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been undeserved. No, I certainly wouldn't have. Um, I think that our, one of the, the really pleasing points is after we do, we're away from home, we equalise and yet we, we keep at it. Where a lot of times you could maybe say, right, it's coming up here is a decent point we can or let them back into the game but we kept at them we kept trying to get that next goal again and, and went right to the last 20 seconds with a corner to try and win it so no credit to the players for that they're desperate to win games for this football club the fans are desperate for us to win and as a staff and a full group we're, we're desperate to win so they're always going to do that but I think for their effort alone they deserved to, to get a point at least but I think in terms of quality we, did, we, we certainly deserved all three in my opinion you mentioned Don Moffat in your earlier answer, as you said, just brought him in on loan from Blackpool yesterday and, and he showed straight away the qualities that he'll bring to the group. Yeah, he's a fantastic player. Look, not, not too long ago he's he was getting on in cup finals for Celtic, winning cups and, and we did try and bring him in last summer, but he wanted to try English football. Um, that was an ambition of his, so we're delighted to get him in. and He's trained well the, the days he's trained with us and then I think when he goes on he he can carry the ball, he can hit it for, for distance and he can he can go by people. So no, we're delighted to get him in. Um, and the other subs, Kane going on, Paul Allen, Andrew Todd as well. It was I just thought it was a really good team performance for everybody. The, the subs that went on, they, and it, it wasn't necessarily for... The changes weren't for bad play or anything because I, I felt everyone that that played in the game was excellent and then one of the things I did say in there is Reese Breen was behind me and he was the loudest person as well. Now he's probably disappointed to get left out the team but that, that's the character, that's the spirit and that's in that group and no, there's a, there is a real togetherness and I say that to come up here and, and go behind and, and be disappointed that you're only going down the road with a point, that, that's the feeling at the minute but in terms of character and spirit then it's certainly never in question with that group. And a word for the goal scorer Chris Hamilton comes back into the starting eleven today and then has to go back to centre back during that second half but, but fills in at both roles really well and, and, and manages to get on the goal sheet to get us that point as well. Yeah, he was excellent, he really was and not just that, they were a change in shape as well because they were causing us a bit of bother with Billy Mackay dropping. They were playing with the two strikers but Mackay was dropping and it was causing us a bit of bother with the back three. Um, we then went to the the three with Hammy sitting in front and we get more of a foothold in the game. Then you move him back into centre back and he's he's taking the ball off of Harry and, and playing and, and trying to build for us and then I say he get he gets a goal. He's a massive Dunfermline fan so that'll mean a lot to him. But again he will be in there gutted that, that we're not going down the road with three points. But it's been a good week for him, attitude wise, playing in the, the reserve game through the week and then and then playing to the way he did play today and he's another great one to have in the group. And a good travelling support again today and they'll be looking forward to a different competition next week in the SBFL Trust Trophy where I'm sure we'll, we'll take another decent support through to Dundee. Yeah, they were fantastic again, even they were, we lost last week at home, the first time in 26 and then we're, we're behind in this game and, and a lot of the time we're keeping possession, safe passes going back the way but they were never grumbling, they were getting behind us and then they, they get that wee bit of a reward at the end that they get the goal or Hammy scores a goal in front of them but no, they come Every week I, I say but I'm never surprised with the backing we get and I'm sure we will again next week up. We'll, we'll assess the squad over the next couple of days and we'll see what type of team we take up there.